I'm Chris, and today we're going to take a look at the giant puffball mushroom. Let's do this real quick. Always be sure to positively identify any mushroom you're going to eat. 50% will kill you, a lot will get you sick. You don't want to misidentify it. A few key things with this mushroom you want to look for is the size of it. Anywhere from 6 to 8 inches or longer in diameter. You also want to pick this mushroom when it's nice and white, nice and ripe. This mushroom, there should be no stem or no gills or anything with this mushroom. Don't forget to rinse off all the dirt. Next thing to do is cut off anything you don't want. When you cut into this mushroom, you want to make sure the inside is nice and white. Also make sure there's no gills in the mushroom. You're just double checking you positively identified it. This mushroom is going to be bitter if there's any yellowish to it. If you want to keep the outside flush, you can. Otherwise, if you want, you can trim that off. It's up to you. You can go ahead and slice this up any way you want. Now that is a hell of a lot of mushroom. You can go ahead and put oil, butter, whatever you want in your pan to fry that thing up. You could slice it thin, you could slice it thick, cook it to a golden brown. You can easily make French toast puffball mushroom. I definitely love onions, so it's no problem for me to add onions to anything. Regardless of how you prepare your puffball mushroom, Make sure you be safe and enjoy. Thank you guys for watching and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Definitely tell this video about your friends and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again. Check out some of my other videos. This would have been great with the wild goose egg I ate over the summer. You don't want to see me. I'm sure.